Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Very exciting day today. I've got a very exciting unboxing. I did a video recently on who makes the best guitar kits and I have some thoughts on that obviously and I conveyed those in the video. Uh, you know, and some people agreed, some people disagreed, some people got mad at me for not mentioning Warmoth that doesn't really do kits per se. But anyway, the point that I'm trying to make here is among the high quality, more expensive ones that I mentioned was Precision Guitar Kits located here in Canada. They're out in BC over by Vancouver. And upon mentioning that, and this might have happened even if I hadn't said them, a lot of you, and I mean a lot of you, commented about how good they are. Well... Guess what I got? Let's call that a rhetorical question. I have a kit from Precision Guitar Kits. I got to select everything that was on it pretty much. I selected what kind of wood I want. No wonder they're expensive, okay? You can select your wood types. You can select what kind of inlays you want. Um, they have a couple different body types to choose from, a few actually. I would like to do more builds from them, but I got to start somewhere. I got to start with one, and this is going to be the one that I start with. So I'm really excited to open this up. I hope that shipping didn't cause it any harm. I know this is going to be beautiful. That's enough talking at the beginning. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Big day. I've already, and I'll show you guys these in another video, I've already got a wiring harness for this thing. I've got pickups for it. Um, working with a couple different really awesome companies on those things. So can't wait to show you that, but uh, well actually I can wait because right now I need to show you this. Has he opened it from the back or the front? Let's find out. Oh yeah, this looks like I'm doing this right. That's a lot of packaging material. So these do not, I just said I, I selected a, a wiring harness and, and pickups from different companies. These these guys just build you the kit. You're going to get a high quality, the wood part, okay? Um, they don't try and send you a bunch of hardware and stuff. You're not going to get pots made in China or any of that stuff. You're just going to get the neck and the body. So let's, uh, I can already see the frets look beautiful. Okay, let's just get to it. Oh, well, there's a lot of packaging material in here. Oh yeah, okay. One thing at a time here. Wow. That is incredible. So I've got a beautiful flame maple top here. Everything's pre-drilled. These, these pickup routes are pristine. Look at that. Look at this carve. That is gorgeous. Beautiful heel carve here. This stuff is all routed and sanded to basically perfection. I've got, I've got very little woodwork to do unless I wanted to, I guess, do some shaping work, uh, which I'm, I'm not going to. I, I don't need to. They, they've, they've done a bit of a belly curve on here. This is their own version of the, the LP, I guess. So they've, they've made some upgrades to the shape um, sharpen this up a bit, done a bit of a belly carve. They've got like a really cool, really cool way of doing all, all this routing. I am, I knew this was going to be beautiful, but I'm impressed. Is this, okay, it's a two piece, beautifully matched two piece piece of the two piece piece <laughs> of this black limba and an incredible maple top. They've written my name in here and, and well, they've written Anne Grove, which is close to my name. Um, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's, obviously we're gonna test, we're gonna check the neck, we're gonna do a test fit and everything, but first, let's do a test fit on these guys. What's this? Well, that's cool. That's like a, a brushed, brushed plastic. Uh, that's the back, obviously, and then I don't know what this side's gonna look like because it's got a cover on it, which I'm gonna leave on for now, but uh, I bet it is pristine course fits great and I would have expected nothing less and been surprised if it didn't it's one thing actually that you see with a lot of cheaper kits is these things don't fit properly and it's actually quite annoying that one also fits great 
They've given me a wrench for the truss rod. That's a nice touch. God, this is beautiful. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what we're dealing with on the headstock and fretboard. I asked for no inlays, I think, if I remember correctly, and I asked for the wood to match the body. There it is. Beautiful. So black limb and neck, wenge fretboard. The frets look amazing. And then I've got the, the flame maple headstock veneer on here. They've got the little gap for, of course, for the nut. Truss rod hole looks perfect. Access is good. I'm amazed, seriously, at how, how those frets look. You see, isn't that, oh, it's just gorgeous, the shine on those. I do have the side dots, side dots only, and mine are in aluminum. So, don't know what else to tell you about that. I wanted a clean looking fretboard and I will have one. Let's see. Let's get this box out of the way and then take a look. Okay, wanted to put this on the, the soft towel mat thing here to protect it because it's all already so beautifully sanded and everything. Um, let's go, let's, let's take a look. Okay, so you'll notice that it won't fit in from this direction. It's tapered, so it'll hold in place. You gotta come in from this way. That is seamless. Literally seamless. There's, there's no gapping whatsoever there. It's incredible. And this, this carve, this heel carve, is just the it's the nicest I've seen let's put it that way so I'll give you a better look at that but I just I have nothing but positive things to say about this okay I'm gonna be have to be careful about how much I how much glue I use when I glue this in because there's there's no space like it's a seamless fit but look at this if we can look at this carve that's just just perfect could maybe have done with, with this being carved out a bit, but that's just me. I'm, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm impressed. I don't know what else to say. I'm just going to start repeating myself if I continue. That is going to be an unreal guitar. All right, guys, so obviously I'm very excited to do this build. I'm also excited to show you guys um, the hardware that I'm going to be putting in it, but that's a little, I'm getting ahead of myself a bit. Let's take one second, I'm really impressed with this. Let's take a moment here to just chat about the difference between a kit like this that's going to cost considerably more and, and something like that LP in the corner there. So here are the differences. I mean, what, what does your money get you? Well, it gets you the wood selection for one thing. So if that's important to you, if you want black limba, if you want you know high grade maple, if you want a wenge fretboard, there you go. You're paying for that. Uh, if you want to be able to make a choice about your inlays, no options on that one. This guy, I chose this. You're paying for that. Makes sense, right? Uh, obviously the finish. I mean, a, a typical guitar kit is going to require a little bit more work 
that's not necessarily a bad thing, but the finish on this is like, this is sanded to ready to finish. I'll touch it up obviously because I need to, to feel good about myself, but it's ready to go. A couple extra carves, for example, this, uh, I think I, maybe if you get the classic version from these guys, it doesn't have that, but it's awesome. So I'd get that. I'd get it with the, uh, with the neck carve, the heel carve rather. So all of that adds value, obviously, and that's, that's what you're paying for here. But one important thing, one thing that's gonna matter a lot in terms of bang for your buck, if you're considering a guitar kit like this, as opposed to one of the other ones, is cap wood. So if you're gonna upgrade to a cap on a typical kit that comes from, you know, one of our standard guitar kit suppliers, solo music gear, maybe Muslati if you want to go that road, I don't know why you would, guitar fetish, most of them. Um, if you get a kit from there, it's going to have a veneer. So this one, for example, let me pull this down. This one has a very nice spalted maple veneer. Don't get me wrong, I love this. Like, it's, it's beautiful. But it is, you know, it's less than a millimeter thick. It's basically paper. And so it limits what you can do with it. You can't shape it. If you sand it too much to do like a die and sandbag finish, you could sand through it. All of that sort of stuff is potentially an issue. Now let's take a look at the considerably more expensive kit from Precision Guitar Kits. If you're willing to pay the extra for this guy, you get a full maple cap. Now remember, this is carved. So this is the thinnest part of the cap. If we look in the cavity, that's easily a half inch of high grade flame maple. So that's where, that's where your money's going. And uh, depending on what you wanna do, that can be very important. If you're just doing a clear finish on something, not so important, but if you're gonna do a sand and die back, or a die and sand back type finish or that sort of thing, or you want the look of that, or you wanna do you know, a natural binding or something like that, this is what you need for that sort of finish. So important considerations. The other difference that you'll notice with a kit like this is simply the fretwork. These things are blindingly polished. They're gleaming, they're beautiful. I bet you they're level. I'm gonna check them obviously. But if they're, if they're level, I don't need to do anything. The ends are rounded nicely. Um, I'm not gonna polish them again. So there, there might be no fretwork for me to do on this kit which is wild. I don't think I've ever had a kit where I didn't have to do the frets. All right, so that is, uh, I'd like to say that's the something guitar kit from Precision Guitar Kits, but, but really, if you wanted this exact kit, you'd have to go in and plug in everything that I got. You'd have to select no inlays. You'd have to select your fret type, your fret depth. Like I, I made those choices. You'd have to select your cap wood. You'd have to select your back and neck wood. Yeah. So go check out their website. I will put a link in the description below if you're at all interested in something like this. Check them out. They're awesome. And I can't wait to build this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Helps me out. And remember to subscribe so you can see how this thing turns out. Thanks for watching as always. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.